Hey, what's up guys? Frosty012 here. I just wanted to make a quick little video for the blog and uh, show you guys how to use a program called Placement to create custom table layouts. Um, I'm sure some of you guys have heard of this program before, uh, but I'm sure some of you guys haven't as well. And uh, if I haven't really heard about this program or, or, or learned about how to use it in the last couple of years that I've been playing full time, I'm sure there's lots of people who are in the same boat and can benefit from this video and find it pretty cool. Um, basically, all you want to do is Google placement poker stars, uh, find the find the file or find the quick setup page. It's pretty easy, and just go through the instructions. Click on this link here um, called Files to download everything properly. And once you have it all installed, uh, it'll just be a simple little box like this. And what this tool is going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to, well, just like I said, you may, you can make basically any kind of layout that you want. And then when you open up your tables on PokerStars, those tables are going to fly into predetermined spots on your monitor. So like for the last couple of years or last three years or so, whatever I've been playing full time, I've been pretty content by just stacking my tables, just one stack, 24 deep, and then moving a couple tables aside with Table Ninja if I wanted to, uh, wanted to really pay attention to those tables. But the last couple of months I've kind of experimented with, uh, with using a combination of tiling and stacking, and I'll show you what I mean when I get into the custom layout that I've created. And I'm not 100% uh, convinced uh, that I like it better, but I think I do for now. Um, I just find that um, you kind of trade off being able to visualize more the action and see a little bit more uh, about what's going on with, uh, with um, I don't want to say efficiency, but maybe easiness of just sitting back and just using like a hotkey to hold your hands in a stack. Whereas when you're tiled, you have to kind of move the muscle over the screen. But uh, I also find that uh, I feel a little bit better after my sessions when I'm looking at the tiles. It's not, I'm not just looking at like one blinking light the entire couple hours and I feel like less groggy and more focused when I'm playing. So uh, that's kind of why I've been liking this as of late. But anyways, I'll just quickly talk about this program. I have no association with this program at all. I'm sure there's other programs out there just like this, but this one's free anyway. So and it hasn't had too many problems. I'll just go and show you the... Uh, configuration that I made. Um, I don't know what that error was, maybe it's not uh, as smooth as I thought. But I made my, I have my one layout up here and you can just go into the slots uh, tab here and, and you can see that I made 27 predetermined slots. Um, you know, you say why 27 if you're only playing 24 tables. Uh, that's just so if I get all my 24 tables up, there's still three slots where I can pull those tables aside. Um, just as I would before. And so you can see just by um, showing the sample slot here uh, exactly where the table is going to go into place. So when I open up my first Poker Stars table, it's going to pop into place right here. And you can readjust this however you want. You can move this out wherever you want on the screen, uh, totally customize it. And as you see, I have my second slot going here, third slot going here, and my fourth one goes up here, and so forth. So I'm looking at six tiled tables and they're all going to be uh, four deep. Um, and yeah, I'll just quickly show you what, what I mean uh, by actually using PokerStars tables. It just really helps when you want to start sessions or, uh, or when you don't uh, feel like moving tables around manually. So I'm just opening up a table, it flies right into place. Two, three, four, five, six, and now it's going to start stacking right where I put the slot 7, which is identical to slot 1. And then it's going to overlap on slot 2 as well, and 3, and so forth, until I have all 24 tables right here. And um, yeah, it's pretty cool. And uh, like I said, I made I think I have a slot over here, so if I want to move the table and watch it, it'll just uh, click into place over there, and then I can move it back. Um, some things that get annoying... I haven't really mastered this program, or I'm sure, if, or I'm not even sure if it really is capable of doing some of this stuff. But like, it'll it'll switch the tables on you sometimes. If you move it into this to like a slot, it'll like just switch that table with the one that you just moved, which gets kind of annoying, especially when you like move a table out here and then you want to just click it back into place, but instead you swap a table out. Um, that's kind of annoying, but it's all stuff that's pretty easy to live with. Um, 
and like I said, maybe I'm just doing something wrong. But yeah, I just wanted to get, show you guys this and uh, and hope that some of you can benefit from it. And you can, like I said, you can kind of make whatever layout you want. You can stack as many as you want uh, in any location that we want. And uh, yeah, it, like I said, it really makes starting sessions quite easy and uh, and it makes playing pretty efficient. So yeah, take a look at the program if you guys are interested and uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Alright guys, take it easy.